Hello beautiful people, I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to our Applied Mechanics lesson. And on today's video, on today's lesson, we will be continuing from where we left off and we will be discussing moments. So in our previous video, which I highly recommend you check out if you haven't already, in our previous video, we went into the concept of moments when you have different support systems and essentially how you'd go about calculating or finding your moments or reactions when you have a simply supported beam and that beam is subjected to a single point load. Okay, so on today's example, I want us to take it up just one notch. This is what the one we covered last. So on here, we'll start afresh. And I want us to try a beam. We'll still make it simply supported for now. And I want us to try one that has two point loads. Okay. So for purpose of this, we could say this is five meters from the left. There's three meters between them. Then two meters on there. Then we have A. And we have B, okay? Then I want us to come up with essentially how we'd calculate it. Then let's allocate some forces. Let's say this is 5 kilonewtons. And let's say this is 2 kilonewtons. And essentially how this question would come about, it would ask you to calculate the reactions, okay? So we'll firstly take a moment at either A or B. Take moments. Wait, my stuff is dodgy. Take a moment at A, remembering that your clockwise should be equal to your anti-clockwise. Okay, so remember that your person kind of stands over here. And you're looking at the forces that are acting on the beam relative to your position at A and how they would essentially cause the beam to react, right? So we said if you're standing at point A, the 5 kilonewtons would push the beam in a clockwise direction. The 2 kilonewtons will also push the beam in a clockwise direction. But the reaction at B will push it in an anticlockwise direction. Already from that, we can already kind of summarize our moments so we can quickly get to our reactions. So you could start off with the first one, say 5 kilonewtons, and the perpendicular distance between your 5 kilonewtons and where you are at A is 5 meters. Then we have 2 kilonewtons, which is going in the same direction, so we'll add it. And the distance from your 2 kilonewtons to where you are at A will be that 5 plus 3, which is 8. And then we have a reaction at B, which is going in the opposite direction, so minus RB. And the total distance from B to A is 10. Okay? I hope you are still with me on here, right? So 5 by 5 is 25. 2 by 8 is 16. Minus 10 RB is equals to 0. That looks misplaced on there. Okay, so 25 plus 16, that gives me 41, is equals to 10 RB, divide by 10 the side, divide by 10 that side, then RB. is 4.1 all right then we're moving on then we'll just push it on here the next we're gonna take a moment at b okay then essentially we need to put our person of interest right there i think i should use a different color just so we're able to see how it would act differently. So when you're at position B, you're going to look at forces 2 kilonewtons, 5 kilonewtons, as well as the reaction at A, right? When you're at point B, the 2 kilonewtons forces the beam to move in an anticlockwise direction. Because if you're here, and there's a force that's pushing downwards here, it moves it in an anticlockwise direction. 5 kilonewtons similarly moves it in an anticlockwise direction. But your reaction at A, you're standing over here, 
the beam is here and your reaction at A is essentially pushing upwards and it forces it to move in a clockwise direction. So now when you need to equate them, you'll say 2 kilonewtons, the distance from that is 2, plus your 5 kilonewtons, the distance from that is oddly 5, then your RA is in the opposite direction, so minus RA times 10 as equals to 0. Okay? Then put your four. Sorry about that, just got slightly distracted. Alright, so 2 by 2 is 4, 5 by 5 is 25, minus 10 RA is equals to 0. Then you have 29 is equals to 10 RA. Divide by 10, divide by 10 RA is 2.9. Okay, and we said... Just from calculating that, you're not done. You still need to carry out your checks. So we said, without checks, sum of the upward forces should be equal to the sum of the downward forces. And our upward forces at this point are our reaction at A and our reaction at B. Our downward forces are our 5 plus our 2. Reaction at A, we have 2.9. Reaction at B, we have 4.1, and that equates to 7. Now we just need to check if everything equates. It does on my side. So our left-hand side is equal to our right-hand side. Then it means that is correct. And that is essentially how you'd go about calculating your moments, where you have more than one single point load that is acting on that beam if you have any questions at any point or if there's something that's a bit unclear with this specific example you know what to do adios